a latest Bible study going on once, and they were studying the book of Malachi. And when they read this, now think about this. He was set as a refiner and a purifier of silver. Malachi 3.3. 3. Does that mean anything to anybody here whatsoever? He was set as a refiner of, and a purifier of silver. And the verse puzzled the entire Bible study. They sit there thinking, well, what is this? So one of the ladies said, you know what? I'm going to find a silversmith and see if he'll let me watch him. And she did. Now, she didn't tell him about the Bible study. She didn't mention a word about it. She just said she was curious about silver. And she watched the silversmith work, and he held a piece of silver over fire in that little thing that they hold. And he let it heat up, and he explained that refining silver, one needed to hold the silver in the middle of the fire for the flames were the hottest as to burn away the impure. <laughs> now listen to this. She asked the silversmith if it was true that he had to sit there in front of the fire the entire time the silver was being refined. And the man answered the silversmith, yes. Not only did he have to sit there holding the silver, but he had to keep his eyes on the silver the entire time it was on the fire. Because if the silver was left even one moment, one fraction too long, it would be destroyed. No more good. You could pull that one out and start with another. So the woman saw it for a moment. She's thinking. Then she asked the silversmith this question. But how do you know when the silver is fully refined? The silversmith looks back at her and smiles and answers with this. That's easy. When I see my image in it, then I know it's perfect. When I see my image. Now hold that thought. We almost there. If we haven't already, we will find ourselves in the fire. <laughs> and most of us is at the age that we found ourselves in the fire already. But just hang on. Our human instinct, instincts may prompt us to doubt God while we're in that fire. Mine does. But if we'll just stay long enough to the great silversmith sees his image in us, Instead of post-traumatic stress, we will experience post-traumatic spiritual growth. But of course, we have to do this first by choosing God to begin with, by asking for his graces, his mercy, and his forgiveness to begin with. But once we do that, any time we, we put into the fire, the instant that God sees his image in us, we will come off that fire. The sail door open, morning will come, the sun will rise, and I, the reflection of him off of us will shed a light to a world of much grief and pain. Stand while we pray, please.